Like I look crazy. <laughs> Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my makeup with the cheapest products I could find on Amazon. I have everything laid out and I'll tell you exactly how much each item was. This is how I was able to find the cheapest products. So I would search whatever I wanted and I would go to filters. All the way down to the bottom price, low to high, show results. Turn on Amazon Prime because we ain't got time to wait three or four days and I will go to the cheapest one. Now you could be specific and search foundation primer for your skin type, but I kept it simple and just searched the exact product and got the cheapest one. I think all together it was like $50, but we're gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna start with my brows. Usually I use the brow pomade and a brow pencil, but today I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Ultra Brow Kit. It has three different colors. No, two brown powders. And I think the light is a wax and wet and wild brown obsessive in the color dark brown. Wow, that doesn't even hardly work. So, what I'm gonna do is run this under hot water to heat this up. The brow kit came with tweezers and I, a little brush, it's way too small to hold. I got the big version of what came in the kit and I'm just going to dab into the darker. It's been a long time since I've done my brows with powder. It can work, it's just not my favorite thing to do and it takes a long time. My thoughts on the brow kit pencil, I definitely do not like the pencil at all. I wouldn't use it for anything. Even after running it under water, it doesn't really, it's not creamy, very dry. I don't know what you could use that for. I'm really specific about my brows, but I don't like it. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Deep, 35 Deep. This was $3.25. I'm going to clean up my brows with it and I'm also going to use it under my eyes. It's the only concealer I have, right? Yeah, let's see. I'm going to try to use... I'm going to try to use the applicator. This is really, really creamy. Like, really wet. I hope it's not like moving a lot this is the wet and wild impossible primer base the one silicone free primer that does it all now it mattifies oh i got dry skin mattifies hydrates blurs pores it preps skin for long lasting makeup and it's impossibly silicone free okay we're gonna see wow it smells really nice i like the way it smells It kind of like walls up as you can see, but it doesn't feel dry at all. Oh, it did blur my pores. Wow. I have this powder, the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Deep 35, and I'm going to use that to 
put in my smile lines and around my nose and I'm using the sponges and the brushes I always use now this color is not like a highlight color for me I don't know why I didn't get a separate one but we'll make it work yeah I did a little much with that one but I like the powder it's pretty fine doesn't have a smell it's just a little bit too dark for me but this is all I got so I'm gonna make it work now I'm gonna use the wet and wild photo focus coconut 3-in-1 primer water the foundation I'm using is wet and wild photo focus matte foundation why did I get a matte foundation I didn't have a dewy or maybe I just didn't look good the color is 376 cocoa and I'm hoping it fits me as long as it's not yellow I can make it work so I'm gonna take a little bit of it Ooh, it's like a spatula And I always start by cleaning up my brows first. I'm going to do the same thing I would do if I were using my everyday makeup. Just not using my everyday products. Is the color okay? Well, as long as it doesn't oxidize too much. So I'm going to take my spoolie brush and blend my brows. Face. Wow, this is so nice. Ooh, it feels so creamy and smooth. Ooh, something just smells stinky. I'm gonna blend this in first. Let's spray so that it can be a little moist. This is what I typically do. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't like the rest of them. I don't like coconut. Call me crazy, but I feel like I did a good job picking the color. It stinks. It, it smells like clay. I don't like that. I can definitely tell that the foundation is matte. It feels matte. It smells like clay, like crayons melted down, frozen, and then thawed out. It just. I'm gonna conceal these eyelids. This concealer is gonna be great for that. But it is not good for the brow cleanup. Highlight under the eye. Now let's contour while the concealer sits. We have, who is this? Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the color 021 Sunlight. I think this is beautiful, but I'm afraid it might not give me the warmth I'm needing. It was the cheapest bronzer I could find, and I'm going to make it work. Even if, do I have a dark eyeshadow? No, I haven't got a dark eyeshadow. The coconut primer water. Alright, so my usual concealer, I could let it sit a little while. I don't think I should let this one sit because it got really dry. So I'm gonna put a little bit more, spread it out. You can see it's starting to cake up. Alright, let me move fast. Dip it into the powder. Press the. Ooh. 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 Oh. That's interesting. That powder is powerful. It was like its own little eyeshadow. But I don't have another powder, and this concealer is gonna dry up and crumble so I have to use it the concealer color is nice it's just that the powder is 
overpowering the highlight. I feel like I look crazy. Plus, <laughs> coconut primer was six twenty eight. Not worth six twenty eight. Don't ever want to see that again. Dead. This is the LA Color Day to Night Palette. You know, I could do some blue to match my blue shirts. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's like a gold. Is it gonna show up? Okay, heard you. That is a shimmer and I'm using a fluffy brush. All of these colors are shimmers and satins. I'm going to go right into this blue right here. I need something to make me look like I'm alive. Okay, okay. If this, if I had like some matte colors in this palette, I could have put it directly on top of the concealer before it started to drop, but I didn't. So we're making it work. This is kind of pathetic. All right, I'm gonna move on to my eyeliner, and this is the Lac Radiance Fine Line, and then the lashes I have. Oh, this is what we're gonna do today. Let's hope that this liner goes okay. The liner is nice. I just wish it was longer because when it comes time to get in here, my hands are so close to, it's just, I, this needs to be a little bit longer. Eyeliner isn't bad. I don't know why my highlight or my powder looks lighter here, but under my eyes is dark, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is not bad. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is pretty dry. It's dry, it feels dry going on, but I just needed to put enough to get the lashes. I'm going to trim them like I did in my how to apply lashes video. And the glue I have is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Clear. This is how it looks. It doesn't even bend. Mm, this is gonna be the right. I trimmed a good amount of these cause they're really long and I'm just gonna place them in the middle. In the front and towards the end of the lash. These lashes have no type of curve, they're straight. If you know, you know. I like my lashes to be up like this, like. Where the other one at? Usually I do my bottom lashes, but no. Usually I highlight down my nose. There's no foundation on my nose right here. I will highlight down my nose here, here, of course under my eyes. I don't have highlight powder, so where's my... Ooh, that's neat. Mm-mm. Wet and wild, uh-uh. Nope. I have a wet and wild blush. I'm using this coconut 3-in-1 primer water. Oh my goodness. I don't like how that smells at all. It smells like spit. Oh, 
real mold. It's Wet n Wild Hot Paris Pink. Okay. Ready. Set my brows with this Wet n Wild Clear Mascara. Even though my brows look so crazy. Ugh, I don't feel anything. Look how boring I look. Like, imagine spending so much time on your makeup and you look boring and flat. So this is my order screen to sum everything up. I like the lash glue. I like the impossible primer. The concealer was okay. I'm not in love with it, but it's okay. Lip liner, lipstick, love. Loose setting powder, it's okay. The brow and lash mascara, it's okay as well. I like the lash, um, the liquid liner. I just wish that it was longer. Everything I didn't name, I didn't like. I expected my face to turn out a little bit better than it did. So I'm just gonna wash this off, yeah. Welcome.